guys all right so today in this video I'm gonna go over the motor details on the Fox I get a lot of questions asked about what's all done to the motor and all so I'm gonna go in, into much detail as I can and tell you what I got all done to this motor all right first I'm gonna start off uh, the motor is a 1995 uh, 351 uh, stock block motor came out of a 90, uh, 1995 f250 4x4 me and Brian went to our, one of our local wrecking yards and we found this and a few other trucks uh, out there that had this motor in it and this one looked the best best shape most gunk most grease and everything will look like it's never been rebuilt that's kind of what you want to look for never look for a motor that's never been rebuilt so we decided on this motor uh, they pulled it loaded it for us paid a hundred and sixty two hundred sixty eight dollars uh, for the whole motor whole on block heads had heads uh, had the cam still in it had the intake uh, everything but the distributor uh, so first I'm gonna start off on the top of the motor here and tell you what I got done to it uh, you already know it's a 351 oh another thing I want to mention too is it's a 351 after the uh, machine shop got done with it is a 358 now I uh, have been bored over 40 over so like I said it's a 358 Windsor Uh, on top of here, on the top end here, run a EFI style, sorry, a carburetor style intake. Uh, it's a L Brock knockoff. That's a uh, a Pro Comp uh, Hurricane intake. Uh, no porting. Uh, on top of here, run a L Brock nine degree elbow. With a 75 millimeter throttle body, this elbow, or, yeah, this elbow will hold a 90 millimeter for one upgrade in the future. All right, so heads, I am running the Trick Flow 170s. Nothing done to them, no porting, no polishing. Uh, right out of the box, as some y'all, some y'all know, these are the same heads I ran on my 302. Uh, underneath the valve covers there running trick flow 1.6 roller rockers and on top running four racing valve covers the reason why I went with these valve covers is these have baffles in them and some of y'all know I had a uh, blow by issue while well, I was pushing oil out through the filters once I got these new valve covers on, uh, fixed that problem. All right, for the fuel system here, I'm running some Siemens Decas, uh, 80 pound injectors. And for fuel rails, they're L Brock fuel rails, uh, fuel lines, they're six and fuel lines running to a Arismoto fuel pressure regulator. Back there on the firewall there. All right, for for ignition wise, it's pretty much stock. Uh, run a stock style distributor. Uh, it's got the stock style TFI on it. Nothing special. Uh, I guess you call that a mild performance. Uh, a coil there and plug wires run some live wire 10 millimeter wires they're advertised as 10 millimeter but they're actually 8 millimeter uh, wire with a with the with the sleeve on them make they advertise as 10 millimeter All right, for the front of the motor here, water pump, I am running a high flow 
uh, high volume water pump uh, pulleys they are stock stock style pulleys oh down there on the bottom you can see it I'm running a summit brand balancer 28 ounce and I'm using their spacers that came with a kit not the best but it does the job alternator I'm running a SVE uh, 130 amp alternator using the 4 gauge, I believe it's a 4 gauge power wire upgrade and the question I get asked a lot it's this alternator bracket it's a Morse, I think I'm pronouncing that right uh, bracket, uh, LMR has it uh, all these parts I'm showing you I will sh um, post a link down below in the description all right so let's get a little further down the motor uh, running a seven quart oil pan like a race style oil pan uh, running a standard volume oil pump as far as hardware uh, bolts on the heads you can see that or not that's not a whole lot of light as ARP head studs intake ARP for the water pump and the timing cover it's all ARP uh, for the I guess I should I should have said this before uh, for everything but the rotating rotating assembly in this motor is pretty much stock uh, running stock crank and stock rods uh, running upgraded pistons um, running speed pro uh, dish pistons in it they're forged and running um, some summit brand rings I forgot what type of rings they are but they're I know they're specifically for a uh, boost application all right for the cooling system running an SVE radiator and for fans, I'm running the contours. Does the job. Uh, SV uh, overflow. Kind of used. I went to Home Depot, got like a L bracket, a piece of limo. Uh, cut it down the size, and I used the the holes. If you run a stick car, you can take advantage of these uh, uh, cooling lines for the automatic transmission, and you can just bolt it up to that and it works out perfectly so that's what I did there all right so that's pretty much it on the motor um, for uh, engine management I'm using a micro squirt ECU uh, did most of the tuning myself um, did the final tuning with the tuner and he just dialed the rest of it in for me but uh I'm not gonna go over too much on a turbo setup I'm probably gonna make a different video on that because I'm gonna go a little more detail on it. Uh, I will say this is a modified uh, on three kit uh, designed for a 302 and made it fit for my 351. But I'll make a different video on that, go a little more in detail. So, uh, guys, um, hopefully, I answer most of your questions. But like I said, I'm gonna post the, all the links below. In the description of everything I got where I got everything bought for this motor and hopefully helps you out uh, I'm sure probably I might have missed something so if I do just leave a comment below and I'll do my best uh, quick as I can to answer them but till next time guys I will see y'all later